I am Alok and you are watching Alok Sen YouTube channel. Lena will tell the rest. Spider-Man 4 potential release date, cast and everything you need to know. Spider-Man 4 is officially in development at Sony and Marvel, but we're no closer to finding out when it might swing into cinemas, or many other specific details. Spider-Man producer Amy Pascal teased a new trilogy was in the works prior to No Way Home's release. Then, swiftly, she backtracked on that in December 2021, essentially saying it was wishful thinking, or maybe manifesting, because... Shortly afterwards, Feige confirmed that a new Spider-Man movie was in development. By May 2022, Sony boss Tom Rothman said they hope to get working on the next Spider-Man movie with that whole group, Tom Holland, Zendaya and co. With that in mind, here's what we know so far about Spider-Man 4. As mentioned above, Spider-Man 4 might be in development, but doesn't yet have a release date confirmed. As with anything Marvel or Marvel adjacent, rumors abound. Until there's something confirmed, however, we will steer clear of the unsubstantiated whispers. In the past, there have been two years between each Spider-Man movie within the MCU, but we have a feeling it'll be a bigger gap for the next film, as 2023 already has two Marvel films slated for release Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse on June 2nd and Madam Web on October 6th. The Sony date that has inspired the aforementioned whispers is an unconfirmed Marvel project for June 7, 2024. This could be Spider-Man 4, but this would place the film one month after Captain America, New World Order and one month prior to Thunderbolts. This feels like an overload of films, even for a cinematic universe as chock-a-block as the MCU. Tom Holland has been a bit cagey on his future as Peter Parker, understandably. Initially, he was quoted as saying, maybe it is time for me to move on. I have to take Peter Parker into account as well, because he is an important part of my life, and added, if I'm playing Spider-Man after I'm 30, I've done something wrong. One potential option is to deliver a long-awaited battle between Spider-Man and Venom on the big screen. As we saw in the Venom 2 credits scene, Eddie Brock and Venom are transported to the MCU. It's because of the botched spell that Doctor Strange casts, but he rectifies it at the end which means Eddie and Venom are taken back to their universe. A piece of the Venom symbiote is left behind though, so it could take over somebody in the MCU. Thanks a lot for watching the whole video. If you like the video, like it and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our Oloxian YouTube channel, I suggest you to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.